Hey Pico Brewers, Annie Johnson here, brewmaster for Pico Brew. I'm here to talk to you about foaming, excessive foaming, the kind of foam that isn't good for beer. This happens in the brewing process. With the Zymatic, it happens for various reasons. The first reason is water chemistry. With water chemistry, you want to make sure that you're using water that is not completely stripped of minerals. So if you're using reverse osmosis water, that could cause excessive foaming. Also, if you're using solely distilled water, that could cause excessive foaming. And it's not the good kind of foam that you want. It's stiff, solid foam and generally pools on the top of the false top. And then it can also pour right over the top of the Zymatic. And a hot, hot sticky, sweet foam makes for a big mess. So be sure that if you're using those kinds of waters that you amend them with brewing salts. Some common brewing salts are uh, gypsum, uh, calcium chloride. You can get these online at an online homebrew shop or you can go to your local homebrew shop and get these as well. You might want to download a water report from your city. Very easy to find out what your water chemistry is like. You can go into the shop, you can compare them online, and you'll know what to add. Also, if you have, you're just using water from your tap, if it's good enough to drink, the general rule is that it's good enough to brew with. But you could also use water that it runs through a carbon filter. If you have a whole house carbon filter, or if you use a carbon filter from your refrigerator. Those waters are fine, but just remember that if you're using any special kind of water, you're going to need to add something back in. When I talk also about water, make sure that you have measured correctly from your recipe the right amount of water. For any reason, if you short yourself a little bit of water, you, you will start to suck air, and that also causes bad foaming. What you can do is just go over to your Zymatic and lift up the keg. If it's feather light, then you go ahead and get a pint glass, two pint glasses of water, and add them directly to the keg. Another thing for excessive foaming is how your Zymatic is connected to the keg. So there are some things to look for. You want to make sure that all the seals are tight. So you have various seals. You have the, where the hose connects to the side of the Zymatic, and inside that hose is also a plastic washer. When you got your, your Zymatic, it was very specific on making sure that these small washers were in place. And if you've lost them or they've cracked or fallen apart, you have no idea the cat took it. Just go ahead and send us an email or, or um, uh, a letter anyway to contact us and we'll send you some new ones. It's very important to have these. Also, the keg posts. When you disassemble your keg to wash it and you put it back together, there's a chance that you didn't fully tighten. So using a size 22 wrench, it's easy to make sure that your keg posts are tightened. Also on the hose is the inline filter. When you take that apart to wash it before every brew, be sure that you put it back together correctly and you've tightened it good. Don't over tighten so you won't be able to get it off the next time, but give it a good, nice, tight twist. For the side where the hoses connect to the Zymatic, you were sent a plastic wrench. If you don't have that or you threw it away, you didn't know what it was, you can use an adjustable wrench. And you wanna make sure that this connection is tight. You don't over tighten so you strip the, 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 um, the lines, but just give it a good tight seal. Because if you have any air that's getting in here and it just takes a little bit for it to be open, air here or air here, or you don't have the washer in place, that's gonna cause excessive foaming. The other area is where the hoses connect to the keg. Be sure that the ball locks move freely on the keg. If they're sticky or stiff, just remove them, put them in some warm water. It only takes a couple of seconds to move it up and down and then place them back on the keg. Also remember that you can use your anti-foaming agent. 
So these are just some simple tips uh, to keep your Zymatic working properly. If you have any other foaming and or these don't work for you, you just send us a note and help us on the way.